Hey there, I'm Connor and you're watching the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for creating cool videos. Today in our Vlogbuster series, we're going to be talking about a scientific channel and see if this channel had existed during my high school years, I probably would understand biology, but it didn't and I don't. But let's take a look at what we can learn from the Amoeba Sisters. The Amoeba Sisters channel was registered in July 2013, so it's existed now for over five years. It's hosted by two cartoon amoebas named Pinky and Petunia. They represent two real sisters from Texas, Brianna Rapini, who is also known as Pinky, who creates many lectures and records her voice. Then you have Serena Peterson, also known as Petunia who creates all the cartoons and the infographics for the lectures. This channel has over 370,000 followers. Maybe that's not a ton compared to other YouTubers who have millions and millions of followers, but I mean, are we gonna be YouTube elitists? No, we're not. I think that 370,000 people is a lot for an edutainment channel, especially one that's run by two cartoon amoebas. Pinky and Petunia started their channel in order to demystify science with humor and relevance. They not only create videos with funny characters, but they also make GIFs and comics and useful handouts for students that are studying for a test or for an upcoming science lesson. In most cases, the Amoeba Sisters are focused on biology and some of its branches, such as pharmacology and ecology. And sometimes they dive into things like chemistry. Also, the sisters will give you great tips on teaching, on studying, and lab safety, which is very important if you wanna keep your Labrador safe. From their videos, you can learn why RNA is just as cool as DNA. Yes, DNA is very important. It codes for your traits. But sometimes what gets left out is how important RNA is. The differences between mitosis and meiosis. Meiosis, not to be confused with mitosis, which sounds unfortunately similar. As well as the difference between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes are organisms that can be bacteria or archaea. Eukaryotes can be protists, plants, animals, or fungi. At first glance, the subjects seem tough and boring, right? It's not like someone's going to be procrastinating by watching videos on mitosis, genes, and fermentation. But the Amoeba Sisters deliver their material in a way that 370,000 people are listening to scientific lectures. That's a really big deal. So how do they make content that is this accessible? First, it's Petunia's fun and memorable illustrations. She doesn't have a formal artistic background, but her cute characters and bright colors always make scientific lectures a little less terrifying. Second, it's Pinky's style of teaching. She avoids fancy words and uses layman's terms in order to not scare off people that aren't professionals. You know, cells have their own little world inside them. They carry genetic information, they can divide, many have functions and processes that their organelles, structures inside them, can take care of. Did I mention that she's a high school teacher? It's pretty rad. Imagine having her as a teacher. That would be awesome. Finally, the Amoeba sisters make their videos engaging by sharing their own experience. And honestly, this is very important. Sometimes they'll connect topics to their childhood or teenage memories. My favorite stegosaurus lost his head. At the time, my mother told me that Sergeant Stegosaurus would have to retire from the bathtub because bacteria had taken over. It led to two misconceptions I developed about bacteria. And other times they'll use examples from everyday life. We all have things that challenge us. And for me, it is folding. You may think of folding as a convenience, of a way to take something and make it more organized. This is true. But in biology, folding can actually have a lot to do with function. These down-to-earth references and examples help you memorize material a lot quicker. And it also makes their content really special too, because you get to see their personality in every single aspect of every single video. Now let's take a closer look at the visual side of the Amoeba Sisters videos. At the very beginning, the sisters' educational cartoons didn't look as polished as they do now. When they first started out, they used the most basic materials. A computer mouse, Microsoft Paint for drawing, and Windows Movie Maker for editing. Petunia has gradually improved her visual style since the beginning. She now uses a stylus instead of a mouse and draws in Autodesk Sketchbook and GIMP. The latest videos by the Amoeba sisters look much better. The characters are well executed and the drawings are colorful, eye-catching, and up-to-date. The Amoeba Sisters are supported on Patreon and it's clear that they do not waste their patrons' money and they're always trying to make it to that next level. They even updated some of their old episodes in order to make it look better for today's viewers. 
The videos still leave much to be desired on the technical front. For example, some of their videos don't have much animation and will kind of look like a slideshow. And there are plenty of other scientific YouTube channels that do a fantastic job with their animations. But it's the Amoeba Sisters DIY philosophy that they try to convey to their audience. The philosophy that anybody can do what we do. They want teachers and students to create videos and GIFs and all types of content for their own classes. As for the sound equipment, the sisters tend to stick with the idea of not being too fancy. Pinky up. If you want to be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. Speaking of pinky, she used to record all of the audio on a cell phone and a lot of the older lectures you can hear an echo in the background. Let me give you a real world example. Say you have a friend that says that they're lactose intolerant. What does that really mean? Now she's upgraded to a recording booth made out of a cardboard box and a microphone. I guess progress does come in all shapes and sizes. Okie doke, let's get to that verdict. Charisma. Charisma. Pinky and Petunia are lovely. They're passionate about what they do and you can see their personalities so clearly in each video. First you like them, and then you start realizing that maybe you like science too. Eight eukaryotic cells out of 10. Content. The mission of the channel deserves a lot of respect. Educational content that helps students and teachers make learning easy and fun. That type of content's definitely gotta exist on YouTube, right? But I still have some concerns about the sisters' target audience. Will their channel be able to grow? I guess we'll find out. Seven eukaryotic cells out of 10. Drawing and editing. The Amoeba Sisters videos are colorful, they're adorable, and they're pleasant to watch. And the visuals have gone a long way since the very beginning. Petunia does great work, what can we say? Maybe someday the sisters will be able to afford fancier equipment and assistant cartoonists to help make their characters move and speak. But on the other hand, maybe it's not that necessary. Seven eukaryotic cells out of 10. To sum up, the Amoeba Sisters are truly inspiring. They make engaging scientific videos, explain difficult concepts, and debunk popular misconceptions. They also prove that you don't need to have superpowers or mind-bending talent or a ton of expensive equipment in order to create beautiful and entertaining content. So if you have ideas and want to make your own thing, don't let fear hold you back. Just be like the Amoeba Sisters. Get your mouse, open up Microsoft Paint, and use a video editing software like Mobavi Video Editor. Just get to creating. That's all for now, and anybody that's interested in anything science related, please go check out the Amoeba Sisters. And we also have a review for Vsauce, which is another science related channel, so we'll leave a link for that and go check it out. See you next week, and as the Amoeba Sisters always say, stay curious. Well, yeah, yeah. Ugh. <sighs>